Nice to meet you again. I heard that you are planning to take part in uh, setting up business in Busan Book Taste Special Zone, right? How mm -hmm. far along is your plan? The 13 companies were selected, Yongdefe was uh, one of them. Due diligence and review process is undergoing. Mm -hmm. uh, if things are going well for us, uh, selection will be made in May. Are you considering a service like crypto payment? So for us, we are trying to bring the best uh, out of uh, Yandepe and this company, HDAC, to, uh, to Busan. We really want to uh, focus on uh, leveraging our blockchain platform and bring solution for, for the city, not specifically for mm -hmm. crypto. But you have a plan to expand stablecoin based service. Uh, why did you choose stablecoin? Well, First of all, if you go back to the initial uh, Bitcoin white paper and why uh, uh, blockchain and cryptocurrency, um, it's made to remove some inefficiencies yes. in like, specifically the payment industry. Um, our service can bring um, cost benefit and security to the end user. It's more like an economic um, assessment, mm -hmm. uh, finding like if end user customers want to purchase something mm -hmm. and we are suggest our service is suggested to the volatility of cryptocurrency then that's going to make uh, the user experience very difficult so we needed to have a stable coin for that and additionally uh, i believe it's something that's in uh, accordance with the korean legislation yeah. Tanda is a very big company yeah. here in Korea. Very and major companies in Korea, like Samsung, Hyundai, now trying to make expand their business territory mm -hmm. to construct a blockchain platform uh, to serve infrastructure to the public. What made you to do that? And what is your advantage aside from others? Willingness to bring mm -hmm. something uh, positive to Korean society out of uh, mm -hmm. blockchain. Um, so it was really uh, to provide a solution that will combine a uniqueness that HJAC has, that is uh, combining IoT and blockchain all together, and provide like solutions on well, whoever you're talking about, smart home, smart car, smart factory, um, to, do, to the society in Korea specifically. So what, what do you think about you know, policy regulations? Here in Korea. Oh, it's complicated. Well, it's complicated yeah. in, in every country because mm -hmm. um, every government is trying to come up with their own regulation. Whether you even if you're talking about like tax mm -hmm. um, tax benefit for uh, people trading cryptocurrency, so it's very complicated to understand which where governments are going because first of all well, they have to have a certain understanding of what blockchain and cryptocurrency technology are. It's very difficult to follow where things are going, but hopefully they will realize the benefit that blockchain can bring and, and facilitate the business, whether it's Korea, Western Europe, uh, North America, everywhere. You work for some kind of traditional market mm -hmm. and big company. Of course, Hyundai is also a big company, but blockchain field is like a pioneer. Yes, that's true. Yeah, it's a little bit dif dif difficult industry, right? Mm -hmm. Because I'm a journalist, you know, I feel the regulation and I can hear many voices from the industry. Can you compare traditional, you know, work experience with this blockchain field? Well, actually, that's, <laughs> that's, that's a great question. <laughs> I think it's kind of like an interview question. Mm -hmm. um, but from my, my background, mm -hmm. my experience, uh, I always try to work on innovative solutions. Yes, like Samsung Pay. Exactly. Mm -hmm. uh, Samsung Pay, when Samsung Pay was launched, mm -hmm. or when we were working on it, we, like, Apple Pay didn't exist at that point. Yeah. So, on the marketing side, you're kind of like progressing in the dark and like kind of exploring like mm -hmm. different possibilities, but you have to go with um, unknown variables that are much more important than a traditional business. Mm -hmm. So for me, it's just another challenge and it's that what makes it like more exciting. So it's, um, it, it's, I think it's very interesting in that sense that um, for, for marketers in the blockchain field, there's no right or wrong approach at this point. But one thing is very important is ultimately like the end user, the final customers, um, using a, like a service on mobile 
leveraging blockchain. At the end, they won't really care about what's behind it as long as it's it's safe. So blockchain will be kind of a a stamp for stamp? yeah, like to 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 guarantee security, to guarantee performance, to guarantee cost efficiency uh, for them. On our side, uh, I feel like we are trying like a very innovative approach, um, getting into a gaming and esports e -sports, uh, okay. enthusiasts and because their capacity to be tech savvy, well, their tech savvy and their um, a willingness to learn about new, new technology and innovative solutions uh, can, can really help us in mm -hmm. assessing the edge that way. Blockchain industry is like a startup ecosystem, so you're a big company, but at the same time in the blockchain industry, so it must be a little bit you know, hard to deal with everything. It's true, like, no, you're right, you're absolutely right. A top down, which is typical to a, like a Korean shell, doesn't apply here, and we have more like a mm -hmm. agile environment where ideas are flowing. Right. So it so was a great interview. Thanks again. Thank you very much. For being here. Kamsanda. 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 Kamsanda.